So in this video, we're going to be talking about static versus non-static. Take a look at these two methods. You probably see a difference. So before I cover up the difference, I want to talk about this. This is the definition of this is how you create a method in Java. This is a term that I'm going to be talking about a lot called the method signature. That is what it's called. So when I say method signature, I mean this entire statement. So the difference is kind of obvious. One involves the static keyword in its signature. The other one doesn't involve the static keyword in its signature. So a method that involves the static keyword is known as a static method. A method that does not involve the static keyword in the signature is a non-static method. So this method is a non-static method, while that one's a static method. Is that simple? Note that static can also be applied to attributes. So if I created an integer, I made it x and I make it equal to 7, I can make this static int equal to 7. You're going to see static a lot in methods rather than attributes, which is why I like to talk about it more in methods. Because you're going to see either a static or a non-static method. You can't have none. Method is either going to be a static or it's going to be a non-static. So let's define the two. Static method belongs to a class or attribute belongs to a class. Non-static method or attribute belongs to an object. I have not covered objects, but hopefully this will kind of give an introduction. It will give that leeway for me to fully cover objects in another video. This is only going to briefly cover objects. I'm not going to get into them. It's just going to give me that pathway to talk about objects. So that's why I'm talking about the difference between static and non-static. Because a lot of people are like, why, why, why do you put a method static? Why do you put it non-static? What's the difference? So that's why I'm going to be covering the difference between the two. Static and non-static. So, hopefully that made some sense. So, let's say I have, let me write some code. I'm doing a combination of Java and pseudocode. If you don't know what pseudocode is, it's just Java, it's just English code. It's just code in English. So, we're going to do a public, we're going to make a class, we're going to make it F. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do our main method. I'm too lazy to write the whole thing out. So this is going to be our pseudocode for our main method. Then we have another class. We're going to call that class G. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a sum method. So we're going to make our sum method. We're going to make it public. We're going to make it static. We're going to make it return an integer. And it's going to take in an integer a and an integer b. Hopefully by the end of this video, when I get this example code, you'll see the biggest difference between a static method and a non-static method. So for a sum method, you're just going to see yourself returning a plus b, right? So, but how do we call this sum method? How do we call it? Well, since this method is in a different class from our main method, the main method is our, what, our, what runs our code, what we have to do is we have to specify, keep in mind that's just pseudocode by the way, we have to specify the class name with the dot operator 
and then the method, and then our parameters. That's supposed to be system.out.println. I just did print because I'm too lazy to write the whole thing. So you can see, a, if coming back to our definition, I'm going to write it down so that I have some room. Hopefully this should ring some bells from our definition, coming back to it. Okay, you can see in our static definition, method belongs to a class. You can see that our method actually belongs to the class. We're calling the method with the dot operator after our class name. So there, you can see that the method is static and that's gonna print seven. So that's how you would appropriately call a method that is static or how you would appropriately call a static method. What if the method signature did not include the static keyword? Well, our method wouldn't be the, our method wouldn't change. It's just our main method that would somewhat change. So here's where things are gonna get a little bit different because according to our definition, a non-static method is a method that belongs to an object. Keep in mind that objects come from classes. A class is just a blueprint for an object. I will cover this when we go over objects. So what we can do is we can create an object out of the class that we created our method. So we can do G, I'm gonna call it H, and I'm gonna make it new G. And what that does is that initializes a new object. And then what we can do from there is we can print our object with the dot operator and our sum, which will pass our two parameters. So that is how you would call a non-static method. You would just have to create an object since according to our definition, method belongs to an object rather than a class. So hopefully that makes sense. By the way, this will also print seven. It's just the same thing. The way you call them is different depending on whether the method is non-static or static. But that's the difference. That is the difference between static and non-static. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. But yeah, that's static and non-static. Just know the rule of thumb is you're gonna have to create an object if the method is non-static, but you can just call it, you can just refer it to the class if it's static, because according to our definition. If you know how the definitions work, you should know how, how to code it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so in this video, I wanna cover a kind of a big deal. Um, you're gonna see an error a lot. So you're gonna see this error a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply print my non-static method. I'm gonna make a call to my non-static method. I'm gonna pass in its parameters. And then that's it. I'm just gonna end it right there. And you're gonna see that there's an error with the statement. And the error is, is that you can't make a static reference to a non-static method. So there are two ways you can fix this error. The first way you can fix it is by making the method static. The other way you can do it is you recall from our definition, a non-static method, let me write it down here. belongs to an object. Static means method belongs to class. That should make some sense. So that's how we fix it. So since we know from our definition, the method has to belong to an object, we need to create an object. So the syntax to create an object is we just reference the class. Keep in mind that an object uh, or I mean a class is just a blueprint for an object. Excuse me, by the way. So our class is just a blueprint for an object. So we can just create our, and then we have our object name and then we have the new keyword. I'm going to talk about all this when we get into objects. So don't worry about it. And there we go. We are done. And then now what we can do is we can make a reference to our object by using the dot operator to call our method. And there we go. We should be done. Well, that's going to do is that it's going to go into, it's going to pass in its method. It's going to do five divided by two, and it's going to return two. 
The reason why it returns 2 is because of integer division. The decimal gets cut off because it's supposed to return an int, not a double. If we made it return a double and we passed in two doubles, then it would return the entire decimal. But since it doesn't, it's just going to cut off the decimal and return our integers of 2. So that's kind of a common error you'll see when you have a ref when you have a static reference to a non-static method. So I kind of wanted to show you how to fix that. The two options are make your method static or you can create an object and then call the method using the dot operator from that object name. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me just comment this code out. Method. And then this is a call to a static method. So hopefully that should make some sense. Call to a static method, create object, call to non-static method, static method, non-static method, and then our definitions from our demo demonstration earlier in the video. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.